हेलो स्टूडेंट आई एम प्रिया सिंह फ्रॉम सारासत इंटरनेशनल एकेडमी आई एम टीचिंग मैथमेटिक्स टू स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ नाइन हियर वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू अवर चैप्टर नंबर टू दैट इज पॉलिनोमियल पार्ट थ्री इन लास्ट पार्ट वी स्टडी अबाउट द जीरोज ऑफ पॉलिनोमियल एंड सॉल्व द सम्स नाउ इन दिस पार्ट वी स्टडी अबाउट द रिमाइंडर थियोरम एंड सॉल्व द सम्स एंड ऑल्सो स्टडी हाउ टू डिवाइड टू पॉलिनोमियल ऑफ एल्जेब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन फॉर दैट फर्स्ट वी डिवाइड टू नंबर फिफ्टीन डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स हियर फिफ्टीन इज अवर डिविडेंट एंड सिक्स इज अवर डिवाइड डिवाइजर वैन वी डिवाइड फिफ्टीन बाई सिक्स काउंटिंग द टेबल ऑफ सिक्स वी गेट सिक्स टू जर ट्वेल्व एंड वी राइट टू दैट इज अवर क्वेश्चन सब्सटीट्यूटिंग माइनस ट्वेल्व एंड सब्ट्रैक्टिंग बाई डिविडेंट वी गेट द आंसर थ्री विच इज अवर रिमाइंडर so we write our dividend as dividend is equal to divisor multiply by quotient plus reminder so our dividend 15 return as 15 is equal to 6 means our divisor multiply by 2 is our quotient and then plus 3 is our reminder calculating the rhs part we get 12 plus 3 it mean 15 that's give the dividend by multiplying divisor quotient and quotient and adding the remainder we get our dividend so now we uh, start how to divide two algebraic polynomial for that we solve the example number 6 step by step i am explaining how to divide two algebraic polynomial here question is divide px by gx where px our polynomial is given by x Plus three x square minus one, and another polynomial which we have to divide is one plus x. It not been proper way, so in we start to divide. So start to solution. First we write in our step one, our polynomial first polynomial. It mean it our dividend. So we write of uh, the dividend polynomial p x. in standard form so we arrange the term in descending order of their degrees so we write the higher degree first it be first higher degree is 3x square then lower is plus x and then last the constant is minus 1 again we write our divisor g of x in proper way standard form then we write the highest degree is x and the lowest degree constant term is 1 Uh, in next step, for what we do, in next step we comparing the term first term of dividend and to divide divisor first term. So we comparing the term here first term of dividend is three x square and we have to divide this by x plus one divisor. So the first term of divisor is x. First we divide this two term, we get the our first quotient. For that here the uh, in divisor, the co coefficient of x is one. So number divided by number and variable divided by variable. By this property we divide three by one we get answer is three. And x square divided by x means in division power will be subtracted. So two and here the power is one. So two minus one it mean power is two minus one one. So it we write x raised to one means x. so our quotient is 3 into x we divide this and we get quotient is 3 into x the first term of quotient so in the next step step 3 we write the quotient and multiply our quotient 3x by our divisor x plus 1 we get this step which have to subtract from our dividend so we multiplying this step we get 3 into x into x means 3x square, and multiplying 3x into 1, we get 3x. So substituting here and subtracting the term, we write here. Here that our first term is positive, so we sub we write this term as first term is 3. Our dividend is 3x square plus x minus 1, and we multiplying quotient to our divisor, we get this step. 3x square and 3x. Now we have subtract. So we uh, subtractly here we write minus 
out from the bracket. Multiplying this minus, we get this step 3x square plus x minus 1 minus plus minus and again minus plus minus. Now subtracting the term, we here the first term we cancel plus minus minus and the last term here x is in positive and here the x variable term is in negative minus 3x. So minus 3 plus 1 means we get answer minus 2x and the last term we write down means minus 2x minus 1. So next step our dividend is minus 2x minus 1 and same our divisor is x plus 1. Similarly by step 2 next step in step 4 we again divide the uh, comparing the first term and divide it. So our first term in dividend is minus 2x and in our divisor is x dividing both the term here the coefficient is 1. So minus 2 divided by 1 it means minus 2 and x divided by x means in division power will be subtracted so 1 minus 1 it means x raised to 0 and any variable power 0 means it be 1 so 2 into 1 we get minus 2 so our new quotient is minus 2 we write uh, it uh, after the for new uh, first quotient so it the form of 3x minus 2 first we multiply minus 2 with our divisor we get the step so in the next step step 5 we multiply minus 2 with x plus 1 x plus 1 multiply by minus 2 we get minus 2x minus 2 multiply by 1 it means minus 2x and then minus plus it be minus and 2 and 2 the step is our uh, subtracting step is minus 2x minus 2 so we substitute in our dividend uh, and then sub, uh, subtracting Subtracting this step with our dividend we write minus 2x minus 1 subtracted and our dividend subtracting dividend is minus 2x. When we open the bracket we get this step minus 2x minus 1 minus minus here minus into minus means it be plus 2x and again minus into minus it be again plus 2. So we write here plus plus now subtracting this step we get this two step we cancel and uh, minus 1 plus 2 because here the symbol is not detected we use this symbol for the 2 we use minus 1 plus 2 it means plus minus minus and the biggest term is in positive so we write 1 uh, here we get last reminder is 1 so in last step 6 we perfectly uh, write this step and get the reminder 1. For that we write by our dividend is equal to divisor multiply by quotient plus reminder we get our polynomial factor form and division multiplication form 3x square plus x minus 1 px given by our gx x plus 1 into our quotient 3x minus 2 and lastly plus reminder 1. It be the method so this is a way to divide to algebraic polynomial. Next again we solve uh, one question example number 7 divide polynomial 3x raised to 4 minus 4x cube minus 3x minus 1 by x minus 1. Here we do not write this step by step we directly uh, comparing multiplying and finding our quotient and solving the term. So we uh, first write our in first we write uh, our dividend in root 3x raised to 4 minus 4x cube minus 3x minus 1 and divisor as x minus 1. Uh, writing this step we get comparing the first term here the first term is in dividend 3x raised to 4 and in divisor first term is x. So first we divide here the coefficient is 1. So 3 divided by 1 it means our quotient number is 3 and x raised to 4 upon x means x raised to 4 minus 1 in division power will be subtracted 4 minus 1 we get x raised to 3 it be the our first quotient we write and multiply uh, 3 x raised to 4 with our 
divisor x minus 1 multiplying we get this step and subtracting with our div dividend and subtracting this we first step 3x raised to 4 cancel minus and plus 4x cube and 3x cube it mean 4 minus 3 mean 1 1x cube but here 4 has negative power and it be the biggest degree so we write minus x cube and the rest term we note down here minus 3x minus 1 as it is. Then again next step we compare our dividend is minus x cube minus 3x minus 1 and our divisor is x minus 1. So again we compare the first term here the first term is minus x cube and in div divisor first term is x. So dividing here the coefficient is also 1 and here be 1. So the coefi coefficient is 1 and x raised to 3 upon x raised to 1 means 3 minus 1 we get x raised to 2. So we write minus x square our second uh, new constant uh, uh, sorry new coefficient uh, coefficient is minus 1 so our new quotient is minus x square substituting here uh, our in quotient we uh, now multiplying minus x square with our divisor we get this step multiplying and writing uh, in degree way we get minus x cube plus x square now subtracting minus minus it be plus and again minus minus it be uh, sorry minus and minus it be plus so minus and plus it be minus so uh, sub subtracting this first term be cancel and here we get x cube and after that there is no x square term so we write 0 x square term here 0 minus x square 0 minus x square means we get minus x square we, we write minus x square as it is then the rest term is not down minus 3x minus 1 again comparing dividend for, uh, first step first term minus x square and our divisor first term x comparing the term we get uh, my co coefficient is minus 1 and x raised to 2 minus 1 means 1 means minus x our new quotient again we write the polynomial term uh, and multiplying our quotient minus x to our divisor x minus 1 we get the subtracting dividend term minus x square minus minus plus x subtracting this term subtracting the symbol is changed minus minus plus and plus minus it be minus so we write here and subtract the first term be cancel minus 3x and minus x means minus 3x minus x minus minus means plus and write the symbol negative so minus 4x so substitute minus 4x and the last term minus 1 as it is now again next step we compare the term in dividend minus 4x divided by in divisor x we get minus 4 because 4 divided by 1 means 4 and x raised to 1 minus 1 means x raised to 0 and x raised to 0 mean 1 so 4 mul minus 4 multiplied by 1 it mean minus 4 so our last constant uh, uh, quotient uh, sorry last quotient it be the constant term and is minus 4 so we write in our polynomial quotient polynomial and it be minus 4 so multiplying minus 4 to our divisor x minus 1 we get this step minus 4x minus minus plus 1 subtracting with our dividend minus minus plus so we write here plus and then minus plus minus so we write minus subtracting minus plus be cancel minus 1 minus 4 so minus minus it be plus and symbol is minus 5. Here we write this step and uh, here uh, minus 5 is our reminder. Now we have to check our reminder is correct because it be the long division method. So we first we find the zeros of our divisor. Our divisor is x minus 1. First we find the root 
for that we equal x minus 1 to 0 and we get the value of x substituting in our polynomial in our dividend. So, we get our polynomial p of 1 because the value of x is 1 substituting x equal to 1 in our polynomial we get 3 1 raised to 4 minus 4 1 cube minus 3 into 1 minus 1 simplifying this step and lastly we get our remainder minus 5 which is the remainder so it be correct for the checking. Now we derive our remainder theorem. Remainder theorem the statement is given by let px be any polynomial of degree greater than or equal to 1. Our polynomial is greater than or equal to 1 means our polynomial is always greater than it not be 0 term it be always greater than and equal to uh, variable form and our numerical form and let a be any real number and a is any real number if px is divided by a linear polynomial our polynomial px is divided by any linear polynomial x minus a then the remainder of this uh, two polynomial is p of a we have proved the remainder our r is p of a so starting uh, our proof we write let our polynomial uh, let px be our polynomial with degree greater than or equal to 1 here polynomial's degree is always greater than equal to 1 uh, and uh, suppose that when px is divided by x minus a then quotient is qx when uh, we divide our polynomial by x minus a then we get the quotient and it be quotient is qx we write our quotient is qx and when we get our quotient then we get also uh, subtracting the term with dividend and get the remainder say remainder rx for that we write the dividend as our dividend px is equal to divisor multiplied by quotient divisor is x minus a multiplied by quotient qx and then plus remainder rx next since the degree of x minus a is 1 here we divide our polynomial by x minus a and the degree of x is highest degree of this poly linear polynomial is 1 so we say since the degree of x minus a is 1 and the degree of rx is less than of degree of x minus a uh, always we get the remainder is lesser than our uh, our div, uh, divisor so it be less than our divisor qx and we say here the degree is 1 so it less than 1 is 0 1 is greater to 0 so means rx suppose rx equal to 0 this mean rx is constant term 0 means or any other, another term it be the constant so we say our rx is r so for every value of x rx equal to r therefore our px is written as px is equal to x minus a multiplied by qx plus r now we find first the root of our linear equation x minus a then we equal x minus a to 0 we get x equal to a so for if x equal to a then this equation is give, uh, given us give us p of a is equal to substituting x is equal to a we get a minus a into q a plus r and simplifying this step we get 0 plus r it means p of a is equal to r which we have to prove and here we prove our theorem our remainder is p of a when p of x divided by linear polynomial x minus a we get always remainder is p of a here theorem is proved now again we solve example example number 8 find the remainder obtained uh, ob, ob, obtained on dividing px is equal to x cube plus 1 by x plus 1 again we have divide this by long division method write uh, dividend and divisor in uh, divide form again comparing the first term of dividend here the first term is x cube and in divisor first term is x now find our quotient uh, a coefficient in both is 1 so we write 1 and x cube and x uh, divided by x raised to power 1 means in division power will be subtracted 
so x raised to 3 minus 1 it means x raised to 2 so we write 1 x square as x square it be the quotient so we write in our quotient polynomial form first here we write x square now multiply x square with our divisor x plus 1 we get x cube x cube now multiplying our quotient x square with our divisor x plus 1 we get this step x in x square into x means x cube plus x square into 1 means x square substituting and subtracting with our dividend first this term we cancel and here the second term in the form of x square which is not in our dividend so we write our dividend as form 3x uh, x cube plus 0x square plus 0x and then last con constant term 1. So here our ans uh, in polynomial dividend it be 0x square and we get subtract 0x square minus x square it be minus we get reminder is minus x square and write the next step minus x square plus 0x plus 1 as it is. Now again comparing the first term of dividend and divide by the first term of divisor we get x minus x square divided by x it means minus 1 here the coefficient is minus 1 and here 1 so minus 1 divided by 1 it be minus 1 and x square divided by x means 2 minus 1 in power in division power will be subtracted so 2 minus 1 we get 1 it means x so our new quotient is minus x we write in our polynomial quotient polynomial minus x multiplying our quotient minus x with our divisor x plus 1 we get our subtracted dividend is minus x square plus minus minus x substituting and simplifying this step this first term be cancel and 0 x minus x and here we subtract so it be convert to plus and it be the 0 so here it not disturb our term 0 plus 1 means 1 and x we get our term is 1x means x and lastly we write the the reminder is x and lastly we take our term last term constant 1 so our polynomial is x plus 1 dividend is x plus 1 so again we compare the first term of dividend be x and in divisor it be again x x divided by x means x raised to 0 and 1 minus 1 means 0 x 1 minus 1 then we get sorry 1 minus 1 x upon x equal to x raised to power 1 subtracted 1 so we get x raised to 0 and x raised to 0 means 1 so our last question constant term we write in our polynomial and it been plus form so we write plus 1 now multiplying 1 with our divisor x plus 1 we get polynomial subtracted polynomial x plus 1 now subtracting the uh, symbol is changed so here subtracting plus minus minus and plus minus again minus x minus 1 substituting and subtracting first term be cancel and last term again 1 minus 1 cancel and reminder is 0 to check our reminder is 0 for that we find our root uh, the divisor equal to 0 and find the root and we get the value of x is minus 1 substituting in our polynomial dividend uh, we get p of 1 p of minus 1 sorry is equal to minus 1 cube plus 1 minus 1 cube means minus minus plus multiplying minus minus plus minus minus means minus 1 and last plus 1 plus minus be cancel and answer be 0 so we which is equation to the reminder obtained by actual division so first we uh, solve our e uh, sums by long division method and uh, to check by finding the root and substituting in our polynomial we get our reminder to correct now example number 9 find the reminder when polynomial x raised to 4 plus x raised to 3 minus 2x square plus x plus 1 is divided by 
x minus 1. Here we directly use zeros of polynomial by reminder theorem. In reminder theorem, we find first the root of the divid divisor. So, x minus 1 equal to 0. Here the value of x is 1. Substituting this value in our polynomial, substituting in our polynomial, then we get our polynomial p of 1, 1 raised to 4, replace all the value of x to 1, 1 raised to 4 plus 1 cube minus 2 into 1 square plus 1 plus 1. Simplifying this step, we get answer is 2. So, by reminder theorem, 2 is the reminder of reminder when x raised to 4 plus x cube minus 2x square plus x plus 1 is divided by x minus 1, it be the it be solved by reminder theorem. Next question number example number 10. Example number 10 check whether the polynomial qt here the polynomial given in the variable form t 4t cube plus 4t square minus t minus 1 is multiple of 2t plus 1 means we have find uh, and check that this polynomial 2t plus 1 is multiple of our qt. For that first we find the zeros of 2t plus 1 uh, in solution as we know qt will be the multiple of 2t plus 1. We have to check we assume that it will be the multiple of qt. So, first we uh, 2 plus 1 if 2t plus 1 is divide qt if any number is multiple of any other another number so we divide then and it be divide then it be the multiple of the number so qt divided by 2t plus 1 leaving uh, reminder 0 so we find the zeros of 2t plus 1 means we equal 2t plus 1 to zero equal 0 we get the value of t 2t is equal to minus 1 and t is equal to minus 1 upon 2 for the value of t is equal to minus 1 upon 2 if our qt is 0 then it be the multiple of qt so substituting the value of t is equal to minus 1 upon 2 in our polynomial qt then our polynomial qt is q minus 1 upon 2 is equal to substituting all the value of t minus 1 upon 2 4 in the bracket minus 1 upon 2 cube plus 4 into minus 1 upon 2 whole square minus in the bracket minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 simplifying and getting the step minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 upon 2 we cancel plus 1 minus 1 again cancel and lastly we get the remainder is 0. So, remainder obtained on dividing qt by 2t plus 1 is 0. So, we say 2t plus 1 is a factor of given polynomial qt then we say qt is a multiple of 2t plus 1. Now, we start to solve our exercise and practice the uh, sums about uh, long division method and uh, reminder theorem method what question say which method we have to use uh, so we start to practice our exercise 2.3 in question uh, in exercise first question is find the reminder when polynomial x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 is divided by it divided by uh, the Device, uh, divisor it be given in the question form. So, our polynomial px is fixed we write our polynomial as form and divided by question wise. So, in question 1 question 1 is we have divided our polynomial with x by x plus 1. So, in solution we write let our polynomial px is in form. First the 0 uh, first we find we have divided our polynomial with x plus 1. So, for that first we find the root of the polynomial for that we equal our uh, divisor to 0, divisor equaling to 0 we get the value of x means here uh, plus 1 that side it will be minus 1. For the value of x equal to minus 1 substituting in our polynomial we get this step p of minus 1 is equal to minus 1 cube plus 3 into minus 1 square plus 3 into minus 1 plus 1. Simplifying this step we get p of minus 1 is equal to minus 1 plus 3 minus 3 plus 1 and last adding and subtracting we get p of minus 1 equal to 0. So, hence the remainder is 0 by remainder theorem we solve and we get uh, the polynomial is divided by x plus 1 remainder is 0. Next in second here uh, we have divided our polynomial our polynomial p of x is in the form of x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 we have divide with 
डिवाइड बाय अवर पॉलिन में पी एक्स बाय एक्स माइनस वन अपॉइंट टू सो फॉर दैट फर्स्ट वी फाइंड द रूट ऑफ द पॉलिनोमियल फॉर दैट वी फाइंड द रूट ऑफ डिवाइजर एक्स माइनस वन वी इक्वल दिस टू जीरो सो क्यू एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो देन वी गेट एक्स इक्वल टू हियर माइनस वन अपॉइंट टू दैट साइड इट बी प्लस वन अपॉइंट टू द जीरोज ऑफ एक्स माइनस वन अपॉइंट टू इज वन अपॉइंट टू फॉर द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इक्वल टू वन अपॉइंट टू सब्सटीट्यूटिंग इन अवर पॉलिनोमेल वी गेट दिस स्टेप पी ऑफ वन अपॉइंट टू इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉइंट टू होल क्यू प्लस थ्री इंटू वन अपॉइंट टू होल स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री इंटू वन अपॉइंट टू प्लस वन सिंप्लीफाइंग दिस स्टेप लास्टली वी गेट पी ऑफ वन अपॉइंट टू इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सेवन अपॉन एट देन बाय रिमाइंडर थेरम वी से हैंस रिक्वायर्ड रिमाइंडर इज ट्वेंटी सेवन अपॉन एट थर्ड इन थर्ड क्वेश्चन अवर पॉलिनोमियल इज रिटर्न पी एक्स फॉर्म एंड वी हैव डिवाइड दिस बाय एक्स सो अवर क्यू एक्स इज एक्स टू फॉर दैट फर्स्ट वी फाइंड द रूट ऑफ क्यू एक्स सो इक्वल क्यू एक्स टू जीरो दैन एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो फॉर द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो सब्सटीट्यूटिंग इन अवर पॉलिनोमियल वी गेट पी ऑफ जीरो पी ऑफ जीरो एंड सिंप्लीफाइंग सब्सटीट्यूटिंग all the value of x equal to 0 in our polynomial simplifying and lastly we get our remainder p of 1 uh, p of 0 is equal to 1 by remainder theorem we say the required remainder of polynomial is 1 when qx divided by qx is equal to x next question question number 4 our polynomial px in form of x divided by qx is equal to x plus pi here our divisor is x plus 5 for that first we find the root of divisor to equal qx equal to 0 means x plus pi equal to 0 we get the value of x equal to here pi is in positive that side be negative minus pi substituting this value of x in our polynomial substituting uh, x equal to minus pi in polynomial we get minus pi cube plus 3 into minus pi square plus 3 into minus pi plus 1 simplifying this step we get the polynomial in form of pi hence we say by remainder theorem uh, when px divided by qx minus pi cube plus 3 pi square minus 3 pi plus 1 it be the remainder next question number 5 again px divided by our qx and qx is given by 5 plus 2x here we have divide uh, our polynomial by divisor 5 plus 2x for that first we find the root Equal qx to zero means five plus two x equal to zero. We get the value of x. Two x is equal to here five is positive. That side be negative. Then x is equal to minus five. Here two is multiplied. That side be divide form. X is equal to minus five upon two. So the zeros of five plus two x is x equal to minus five upon two. Substituting the value of x equal to minus five upon two in our polynomial, we get p of minus five upon two is equal to minus five upon two whole cube plus three into minus five upon two whole square. Plus three into minus five point two plus one. Simplifying this step, lastly we get the remainder is minus twenty seven upon eight. Hence, by remainder theorem we say the required remainder is minus twenty seven upon eight. This question number one, all sum you also solve by using long division method. You try it by long division method. What is your remainder? You get. Now question number two is find the remainder. When x cube minus a x square plus six x minus a is divided by x minus a, so our dividend is p of x is equal to x cube minus a x square plus six x minus a, and our divisor q x is equal to x minus a. So we first we have find the remainder. by remind using remainder theorem we find first the uh, root of the divisor so we equal our qx equal to 0 means x minus a equal to 0 we get the value of x x is equal to here a positive that side be negative we get the value of x substituting this value in our polynomial we get p of a is equal to a cube minus a into a square plus 6a minus a simplifying this step we get a cube minus a into a square means a cube Plus five a, subtracting this term be cancel and last we get remainder five a. So by remainder theorem, subtracting our p x by q x we get remainder p of a is equal to 
phi a hence remind required remainder is phi m next question question number 3 check whether 7 plus 3x is a factor of 3x cube plus 7x we have to check 7 plus 3x is a factor of our polynomial 3x cube plus 7x for that we write our polynomial fx is equal to in form of fx fx is equal to 3x cube plus 7x and we have find, uh, check 7 plus 3x is a factor it mean when we uh, divide our polynomial by 3x plus 7 the remainder be zero so first we find the root of divisor to equal the divisor to zero so 7 plus 3x equal to zero we get the value of x x is equal to minus 7 upon 3 the root of and say the zeros of 7 plus 3x is x is equal to minus 7 upon 3 so to check 7 plus 3x is a factor of our polynomial we saw some fx say minus 7 upon 3 equal to 0 by factor theorem so substituting this value in our polynomial the value of x x equal to minus 7 upon 3 we get this step 3 into bracket minus 7 upon 3 whole cube plus 7 into minus 7 upon 3 simplifying the step and lastly we get the answer is minus 490 upon 9 minus 490 upon 9 is not equal to 0 so we say for the value of x equal to minus 7 upon 3 is not equal to 0 Uh, f of minus seven upon three not equal to zero. We say x plus seven uh, plus three x is not a factor of our polynomial three x cube plus seven x. So here uh, exercise sums completed. All student, you have note down the exercise and example sums in your book and practice the sum. Next we next part we study about the factorization of polynomial. Thank you.